Hello everyone and welcome back to Nat's Knacker's Yard, or Nat Knacker's Garden, I suppose. Um, I've got the tank from the R5 up here. That's the dent that I've pulled. I've now filled it. I mean, it always feels like a good job, but you never really know. Um, here's the dent that was just too big to pull. So again, filled a lot of filler on that. It's a big, deep hole. So that's had about three layers on there. So I'm just going to key it off with some... Uh, high coat primer um, and see how it looks. It's the only real way of telling um, is to do it that way. I've got rid of the Kawasaki stickers. I was just going to patch but I, I just couldn't do it. I'm not that good and I haven't got any match paint. Um, on the match paint I'm on a real fool's errand for that I think. Um, if I can find somewhere that can match from a sample I'm going to get it as a liquid not as an aerosol and I don't have airbrushing uh, capabilities. Um, so what? It's going to go black um, with my paint effect on it and a different colour um, and enough red. <laughs> Done enough of red for a little while, particularly with Amanda's DNA. So I'm going to go for that. So what? It's going to be another unique ER5 uh, paint job. Um, uh, I'm not going to go for the same effect as I did last time because uh, um, I want to try something a bit different. Um, so we'll see what we end up with. But let's get this uh, primer on, see how this looks. Okay, so that's the, uh, the I don't know, the showing la uh, layer on. And actually, my repairs are looking pretty good. Uh, and I've managed to keep the shape on that, which I'm really quite impressed with. Um, yeah, really impressed with, actually. But what it has done is just shown off some of these are sort of a bit tacky. Hello, come on, focus. I'm not sure if you can see how you can. There you go. It has shown lots of little scrapes and the like. Now, previously, I probably just would have carried on filling, uh, filling primer to get rid of those. But I think, as I'm learning as I go, these are the sort of things that you should really be using the knifing uh, putty on. There we go. The knifing putty, that's what they're for. It's for these little gaps and the pinholes and the like. So I'm just going to let that cure off a little bit and grab a bit of knifing putty and do it really thin, really super thin. Cool. All right, so there we go. There's my spare sign. That's what I'm going to use it for, propping up to remind people what they're watching. Um, yeah, really, really thin. And this stuff will dry super quick, especially in the sun. Uh, really, really thin scoot over um, those little scratches and I think most of the scratches are actually from getting the uh, stickers off uh, which I did with heat and a very sharp blade and then obviously sanded the bejesus out from underneath it um, yeah right I'm gonna leave that and get on with other stuff all right so that's that bit rubbed down and resprayed it's still not perfect I can still see a bit of a I'm not sure if you can a bit of a lip there, but I can get away with that. Um, ditto with a bit of a dint there, tiny one on the edge. Oops. There or thereabouts on this edge, but I'm going to go for a pattern on it anyway, so I'm not overly concerned. So let's go for it a bit more primer. No, you know what? It's had enough primer. Let's get some. I'm going to give it a little bit of a brush down, and I'll get some black on it. Okay, so that is a 500ml can of uh, Halford's Finest um, matte on there. Uh, really good coverage, actually, you get from the uh, from the Halford Specials. A um, little bit of crap landed on it. That'll, that'll dust off fine. Uh, right, I'm going to let that dry slash cure. Um, I might go for some pinstriping on this again, just because I think it looked really good on the last one. So, a similar down the middle. Might try it off to a side actually. I think about that. Um, I don't know whether or not I'm gonna block pattern it all or leave like the section here as is. Quite like that. If it's the whole tank done, it it can look a bit odd. Um, I have ordered a, a Kawasaki sticker 
uh, in silver so that will go on before the uh, clear coat so it will pick up the colour of the clear coat as well and be nicely uh, sealed within it just means I have to be very careful when I'm uh, 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 sanding it afterwards so I don't take the colour off and go to the silver um, yeah I'm just considering what to do if anything on the side there I might have a bit of a play with my pinstriping tape and see if I can get a bit of a shape out of it don't know I don't think it bends that well I know it's really thin stuff but I don't think I'm gonna get a decent curve bend out of it but we'll see I've got to try got to try these different things haven't you right okay that'll do me for now right so it's a bit later uh, only sort of three or four hours or so um, the paint has dried if not actually cured um, so I've got my pinstripes on so the green pinstripes is just pinstriping tape um, uh, straight off eBay um, it's nice and low tack so it won't peel the paint off when I uh, won't peel the black off when I peel it off um, uh, and what else and that is frog tape next to it and it's low tack frog tape uh, because I don't want to uh, strip my black off when I take the paint off uh, paint wise my standard Rustolia metallic elegant finish silver so this is the stuff that I will use ultimately to do the uh, patterning underneath and then candy coat over the top it makes the color come through on the silver and because it's a metallic finish it gets a really nice kind of ghosty texture um, uh, when the sun hits it right let's get this on and there you go looking kind of sweet I've saved one to do with you doing this with one hand but it's very satisfying <laughs> there we go get off your bugger right so pinstripes done looking pretty cool I'm just going to stash that away and let that cure overnight and that will sort out the fresh uh, black and the new silver. Cool. So a day later, um, that is the uh, bodywork complete with the black, that is black matte. Um, I now see why Charlie and others are so they're such big fans of matte it just goes on so easy it's just like dry powder coating it's really hard to cock it up and believe me i've tried um so that's the sections done uh the rear section with the pin striping the rear grab rail is sorted and dry and actually looking good uh, to do a little bit of rebuilding you can see it a little bit of rebuilding on that edge Ooh, come on focus taking great interest in my grass rather than my grab rail to so do a bit of rebuilding because there's a little bit of damage on it um, front mud guard is also curing over there as well again with the pinstripe um, I may well go for the dappling today I don't need great light to do it so I might do it today I might do it tomorrow what I have determined I'm going to do and learning from lessons I've made real effort over making sure that I cover all the way up to the edge for mating surfaces um, so what I think I'm going to tag this together for when I do the dappling effect and then take it apart afterwards it's, and it's not to get the patterns matching um, well that'd be nice um, it's just to make sure I've got coverage because what I am noticing is I'm getting um, some like primer lines and bits on mating surfaces so you know in the spirit of uh, continuous improvement um, I want each one to be slightly better than the last one. Um, so yeah, I'm going to tag those together and chuck on the silver dappling. Um, the candy coat, oh, excuse me, the candy coat won't be here for a couple of days yet. So um, so yeah, oh, if I sound a bit punch drunk, uh, I had my COVID vaccine this morning. Um, it's now evening and I'm I'm feeling shite <laughs> shattered and a bit shaky but hey if it stops me from getting covid then it's worthwhile right fantastic catch you later on